It was one of the craziest, but one of the best weeks I've had here, if not in my entire life. Tonight's the rose ceremony, and having already said goodbye to Laura B in Paris and Chantal yesterday, tonight I'm saying goodbye to two more girls and going down to the final four. I'm trying to weigh the options the best I can to understand what's going to be best for me in the long run, and um, I know that I want to go to their hometowns and meet their parents. And that's the hard part. I have to go to their homes. And if I were to take someone to my home, I'd have to be 100% sure that I wanted them there. I hope that it means as much to them as it means to me. Absolutely want that roast so that Brad can meet my family. I think two are leaving. Two girls already have roses. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a tough night. My heart is beating so fast. I'm very excited to have Brad come to my hometown. I'm just really f pissed off. Winnie already has a rose. So I want to get a rose tonight. I want him to come meet my family because I think he's an amazing guy and I think they will like him. Yeah, it's a big deal, possibly being sent home. I definitely deserve a hometown date. I'm so excited for Brad to meet my family. To say that we're falling in love, it may be too soon, but I can't see it going any other way. What's going on, girls? Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. This has been one of the craziest and best weeks of my life. Uh, I got to spend some real quality time with you guys, and I hope that means as much to you as it does to me. I look forward to all the time that I do get to spend with you, tonight being one of those times. So uh, let's cheers and start the party. It's a great night. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I am nervous. I think everybody is. At this point, I, I honestly have no idea if I'm going home or not. So, like, after this, like, where do you want to live? Oh, like, Toronto. So, do you really see yourself proposing after this? I don't think that I would have come on in this had that not been something that I could see myself doing. But I have to put myself in the right situation to do mm -hmm. it. Which, as you've seen over the last three weeks, has been a lot more than it was the first week. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even though I have a rose, I wasn't about to sit in the mansion and watch Gabrielle with Brad. In the end, I'm still here to be with Brad. But there's always, like, um, like a hit inside. People who are always sarcastic. Gabrielle, you're gonna kill me. What? The yeah. night is over. Party is over. Yeah. Out of all the people that could have interrupted when he comes to interrupt. Lame. Very, very lame. She already has her own. What the hell does she want? At this point, like, honestly, I don't know. I mean, I think we have a good connection, me and Brad. The other girls have no chance at this competition with me. I think Whitney's fooling Brad, definitely. Whitney's the devil. She's evil. Very evil. Ladies, we've already said goodbye to two ladies. One in the city of love, Chantal, who lost something that is irreplaceable. So a lot of loss, yet you six are standing here. Whitney and Bianca, you both received roses this week, so you cannot be eliminated. Anna, Kara, Gabrielle, and Brittany. As you can see, there are only two roses remaining, which means two of you will be going home tonight. Let's bring in Brad. Brad, whenever you're ready, okay? Good luck, mate. I feel like um, I say this a lot, but every time you're in this situation, it gets harder. But my decision tonight is based on what I think is gonna be best for me, so.
care of. Kara, will you accept this rose? Yes, thank you. Ladies, Brad has come and told me that he needs a little more time. He's having a hard time with this decision. So if you could just bear with him for just a few moments, and he'll be right with you. All right? Thanks. I picked up the final rose, and I didn't have a clue what to do. I just think I need a little more time. I have to ask myself one question out of Gab, Anna, and Brittany. Who's the one that I can see going the furthest with me? I just want to apologize. I'm, I'm not really here to try to play with your heads or anything. To tell you the truth, I want to make this decision. I want to know that it's the right one. I just want as much time as I can get to make sure it is. And having said that, Ladies, I'm sorry. If you do not receive a rose tonight, take a moment and say your goodbyes. hard to say goodbye to Brad. In the end, it made me more confident. I'm gonna miss his jokes. I'm gonna miss how funny he is and how he makes me laugh all the time. But this is ultimately Brad's decision. You know, my mom can't be here physically to kind of give me a thumbs up, but I know she's looking from above. And so um, I'm happy with that. Good luck. I absolutely opened up 100% to him. And if I didn't take that leap, then I'd never know. As much of a funk that I'm in right now, I really hope I can get past this. I came into tonight being myself, and I'm going home still being myself, so.
Thank you. Okay. Sending people home is never easy, but looking at you four right now, I know I've made the right choice. I can't wait to go to each one of your hometowns, meet your parents, and hopefully I can make a good enough impression. It's gonna be a great week, all going all over Canada. Cheers to the week ahead of us. Cheers. Cheers.